Okay, here we are again. Here we are again. Uh, this one is, I, I think, maybe some of you have been uh, looking for it. Uh, this is the concert in Las Vegas on February 29th, Angelina's debut uh, performance in Las Vegas on the stage that Elvis departed many years ago and after being there for seven years and over 600 sold out shows for Elvis. And we'll have uh, Angelina did a spectacular job. The band did great. Everything, the whole production of the the thing was Las Vegas, baby. It was all there. And starting with the opening number and all the way through and Angelina's gown and you name it. Everything was top-notch, high production value. And uh, t it, to me, it was just, it's just screaming Vegas, right? When you go to Vegas, you, you, you can't just walk out there and, uh, you know, I suppose you could. Maybe someday Angelina will just do that. Just walk out there with nothing, you know, the nothing special uh, as far as that goes. But, you know, she doesn't need all this stuff. We know that. We've seen all the evidence uh, and all the videos she's done where she doesn't have anything. She's got her regular clothes on. She's got the, her handheld phone and she sings walking through the parking garage or wherever it might be. She doesn't need all that stuff. But this is, you know what? This is Vegas, baby. It's Vegas. It's the entertainment capital of the world. They know how to do things there. And it's kind of expected, I guess. You really got to put on a show. And uh, because people, oh, there's so many shows to pick from. I, I guess you got to be out there in the running, right? So she did a great job. And, uh, of course, and the band was great. I thought this band was actually, uh, I think it was only put together two weeks before the performance here. Uh, but uh, they did it. I thought they did a great job. So let us watch. There's actually going to be two videos. The second one has, uh, hang on. I took notes. Believe it or not. I can't read them, but I took them. Uh, so the second one has, the first one has most of uh, Diamonds Are Forever, but I didn't get it all for some reason. I don't remember what the deal was. But uh, I shut the camera off briefly, turned it back on, got the rest of it. And uh, then there's an additional song on that second video, uh, and it is Love Don't Let Me Go. So it's a great song, too. So we'll probably listen to both of them. You guys are going to get a twofer today, okay? Let us go ahead and listen. I've only talked for less than three minutes. That's fantastic. Let's go.
my goodness, Nick. Thank you guys so much for coming. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Come on, Welcome to the International Theater, my first show in Vegas. Oh my God. Wow, I gotta take a second to really realize this moment. I'm just like taking this all in. Oh my God. Uh, how are we all doing? I hope you guys have an amazing time. I. As you all know, I just, the music that I want to share and make, I just want to, you guys to feel loved and that uh, I'm here as a family to you all. You guys are my angels and a part of my family. <laughs> and um, I, I really couldn't do this with, uh, with you all. With, without the support, I would not be standing here uh, on the same stage as Elvis. Uh, yeah. it's incredible. <laughs> um, and I just hope you guys really enjoy, and I love every single, each and every one of you. <laughs> um, we're about to do a song that you guys probably know, but I'm going to let you go. Uh, and sing along. If you guys know the words, sing with me. <laughs>
well, welcome back. To, uh, <laughs> I know it's not the same not being there as it is watching it on video, but I'll tell you what. That whole thing, in my opinion, when you, right from the beginning to the end, it starts off with, I'm a, I'm a James Bond movie fan, by the way. I've watched them all, I think, ever since the beginning of time. And uh, Sean Connery days, and I think there were some other people in there, a couple other not well-known uh, actors played the part. I uh, can't think of their names right now. <laughs> they're not well-known They're not well known actors, right? <clears throat> But there's been many people who played the role, but it doesn't that that isn't the important thing. The thing is that they always try to, uh, they kind of put in a lot of rawness. Uh, James Bond <clears throat> was the good guy, but wasn't all that good sometimes. <laughs> he did a lot of things that were, uh, even for the back in those days, was a little bit uh, uh, shocking, if you will. So, uh, but anyway, uh, but the main thing you know, is it was kind of a Start started off with kind of a uh, like it's classy, it's elegant, it's uh, there are settings that are very uh, you know rich and exotic and so on, and uh, back in the day even when, when then of course he drove always drove a uh, a really nice uh, getaway car, sports car you know I think uh, I think Aston Martin I think was his favorite brand um, anyway here this neither here nor there but when you watch this video. Right at the very beginning, they have the band come out and they're in silhouette. Most of James Bond's, uh, we'll call them in their last couple of decades, uh, maybe longer than that even, <laughs> those films have started off with uh, like f floating women and guns and stuff like that uh, in silhouette. And that's been uh, going on for a while with the movies and I think they still continue it. I can't remember in the last one if they did that or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if they carried that theme through in some way just for continuity, you know. And uh, familiarity. So, yeah. So they even here in this video, uh, doing "Diamonds Are Forever" the James Bond song. How many times people have said, "Oh, I wish she'd uh, she should be doing a James Bond song uh, for one of the movies." Yes, she should. And here's the proof. And here's her audition tape. Okay, she. Um, uh, you yeah, have the James Bond people are watching. You know, take a peek. And you know, Angelina comes out on stage. First of all, the band's there in silhouette. Right. It, it reminds me. Exactly of a James Bond movie that they're there in silhouette like that because that's how they start a lot of them. Then, of course, the music starts. <laughs> it sets the mood. You know, it's just like a, it's just like a James Bond movie. They, they always start with the music. You know, the music that theme is always in there somewhere. Sometimes it's just a little bit, and it just kind of leads into another scene or whatever. But it's always present. And then Angelina, uh, eventually after they do like an intro, uh, Angelina comes on stage in that beautiful gown. Which I understand weighed about forty-five pounds, so it was she was toting some baggage there, <laughs> and uh, of course it was beautiful and matched the elegance and the sophistication and the glamour of the James Bond movies perfectly, and also uh, Angelina is a classy person anyway, so a very classy, classic, uh, elegant, uh, great choice of a gown, and. Then her hair, even her hair now, you know, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not, you can <laughs> evidence, evidence right here. I'm not a hairstylist or a fashion person or anything like that. Uh, also, more evidence, a yellow shirt. Almost all my videos, I'm in a yellow shirt. I got about two dozen of these shirts. So uh, it's not the same shirt every day. Don't worry. But it's uh, similar shirts. This one here is actually made out of cotton, which uh, sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. The other stuff, the, uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sometimes feels more, feels better to wear. Anyway, so I'm with the show. So Angelina comes out there. She looks fantastic. She's got that gown that looks is just awesome. It's got the with the little mirrors and stuff on it. And so you uh, constantly a little flash in here and there. And uh, her hairstyle looks just like the old fashioned movie stars. Like uh, you know, the only one I can think of that pops into mind is Lena Gardner. But there's there's so many of them that had a similar hairstyle to that. And um, uh, well, I won't get into that. <laughs> There's, you know, even like um, even Marilyn Monroe and things like that had you know hair similar to that, not like that, but similar to that. So it was uh, the whole scene is set, and then Angelina steps to the mic, and it's history right there. 
when she sings that first note, she is performed on the same stage that Elvis was on, in the same hotel. And that, my friends, is history. I heard, I don't know if it's true, that she's the youngest performer to perform maybe on that stage. I don't know about the whole, you know, Vegas scene or not, but uh, youngest performer to perform on that stage, I think, ever. Okay, so that's saying something too, that an 18-year-old young lady can get out there and be on that stage. Because remember, Vegas is entertainment, okay? It's all about entertainment. It's all about bringing in people. It's all about keeping people there, uh, having people come for a reason. You know, it used to be in the old days you came for gambling, and then if you went to go see a show, you saw a show. If not, not, you know. But now people come for the shows uh, probably as much. They don't really come. They come for conventions, for shows, for things like that. They don't necessarily come for a gamble, but the gamble is what's making them all the money. So, you know, as long as you're there, I did it. I slipped a 20 in a slot machine, lost it, you know, got to keep them lights on somehow, right? So I, did, I had no, like most gamblers, I had no expectation of winning anything. <laughs> Basically, it's a donation, okay? And um, so, you know, people do that. I mean, that's, that's the nature of the beast. You know, it's all meant to entertain you, uh, make you comfortable, make you feel... Uh, at ease to do whatever you want to do. It's all it's great. It's great stuff, man. Entertainment capital of the world. Yes, indeed it is from my experience. And so Angelina sings the song Diamonds Are Forever, like James Bond classic. And hey, you heard it. Uh, as as good as it gets, as in my opinion. And her stage presence now, she's maturing into the role of a of a of a musical icon. She really is. She looks, she acts and looks, she's her unique style, but she act, she fits right in. You plug her in there with Whitney Houston or uh, even even Elvis in a lot of ways. Uh, <clears throat> she fits right in there. She's not out of place. It's not like she's trying to force a, you know, a square peg in a round hole. It's not like that. She, she belongs there. That's my opinion. And... Uh, I don't think there's any doubt in that, but that's just you know me rambling on as I usually do. So, yeah, I, I thought the whole performance was great. And Love Don't Let Me Go, of course, that's one of her, her originals. That's just a great song. Uh, she wrote that. And, you know, it's like, you know, El Elvis Presley never wrote a song. I was actually surprised. I looked I looked it up because I had heard it. And I said, well, i got to go find out for myself. Yep, never wrote a song. Uh, always, he, had, he either did covers or he had songs written for him. Uh, but he never wrote a song himself. Not It's no big deal, okay? A lot of singers have never written a song. I'm not criticizing Elvis. Uh, Elvis had his own... He had a, a whole array of talents that he had to uh, to bring to the table. Uh, a lot of them were like charisma and uh, performance and entertainment. And he just had a way about him, you know? People liked Elvis, you know? Everybody did. Loved him, actually. Me too. You know? He had something about him that was just lovable, I guess. And, you know, even though he uh, left us early, he, uh, you know, and he, can you imagine, for any of the guys out there, can you imagine you go to a concert and you got hundreds of uh, girls uh, up front screaming, screaming at you. They want to, they, they, you know, they just, they, they're just happy to be there, but they also, they, they probably uh, uh, fantasize or imagine more than that, okay? They, they like to be your girl, the girlfriend, boyfriend thing kind of thing, to put it mildly. And, <laughs> you know, the celebrity of it and all that kind of stuff, it's just, uh, leading a lifestyle like that, he couldn't probably, he probably couldn't go anywhere without throngs of people around his car. You know, he had their bodyguards and all that. Uh, people looking at, you know, looking out for him. And, you know, that's a whole different lifestyle. Eventually, I think what happens to some people, not all, um, and I'm not even going to say that it happened to Elvis, although I think it did in some ways according to the information that's out there these days. Um, you know, there's temptations, you know, with all the different fans that want to be with you. and uh, You know, it's, it's, I mean, it's the nature of the beast, I think. Uh, same thing Angelina, you know. People, I already think, she, yeah, I call her the goddess of song. Goddess is a pretty high uh, platform to be on. <laughs> I don't want to put any pressure on Angelina, you know. I want her to be herself. That's all. I don't want her to force things. I don't want her to do anything. That's why I, some people think her career is going slow. I think it's going the right pace. I think Sarah has got the brakes on. 
Uh, she said that as much uh, when talking with some people in the venue this uh, at this concert. And, you know, she's keeping the brakes on because if it was up to Angelina, she'd be out there singing every single day because uh, <laughs> she loves to sing, okay? But at some point, you know, then you start getting the stuff involved where you got to have security and people around because you don't you don't know what's going to happen. We live in a crazy world, right? you got to uh, face that. And then she's got to drag an entourage with her wherever she goes in. It's, I don't know if it gets to be a drag after a while, right? It's fun for a while, but then after a while, it's like, man, I can't go anywhere without bringing along a whole, th a whole slew of people just to keep me safe, right? And, uh, yeah, it's the way, it's the world we live in, man. So I, th I think eventually that celebrity status can get, uh, can get to you. Uh, your privacy is always, uh, you don't have any privacy. You got paparazzi hanging in the trees taking pictures of you when you, when you look out the window. It's like, you know, oh, man, really? All the time, all the time, they never let up, right? And, uh, you know, Angelina's heading to that, uh, heading to that sort of stardom. And I think that, uh, yeah, it's good for her to take it slow. Get used to it slowly. Uh, find ways to deal with it in your own way and time. Uh, and, you know, that, that's it. Take your, you got time. You just did something that nobody else has done. If that uh, information is true, that she's the youngest one to be on, that st on a stage there like that, that stage. Maybe any stage in Vegas, I don't know. You don't really hear about a lot of 18-year-olds getting up on those kind of big stages like that. And people say her slow, her career's going slow. She's already arrived, okay? She doesn't have any, where's she going to go now? You know? She's going to go out on, she's going to do more concerts and get more better, or more better known. Yeah, speak English. Better known by more people. She's going to put out, some LPs and whatever else is out there these days to put out. I always think LPs is like a record, but I know they don't make them anymore. I think they do, but you can buy, you know, specialty stores and so on. But, um, you know, she'll get, you know, people will buy her music, people will listen to it for free and then go buy it maybe for themselves, download it, whatever the case may be. I don't know how the whole thing works anymore, but, you know, it's like she's going to be famous. You know, you got Adele out there. She came back from uh, several years off and got like over a billion views on her uh, debut song. Fine. You know, the 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 view thing is kind of like a uh, measuring stick, if you will. You know, who's watching? How many people are watching? And how many uh, are are liking the thing? So you look at the likes too, right? <laughs> and and see if uh, how how it's going. And that's fine. You know, I think Angelina is going to be on that level soon. Whether and I think as long as she keeps singing and performing, uh, she doesn't have to. I don't think she has to do it all the time. But you know, as long as she's singing and performing, she'll she'll keep rising in popularity because she's a unique talent. I don't see how it could be denied. To be honest with you, some people, you know, like I said, you get ten people, you line them up, you listen to Angelina Jordan sing. People had never heard Angelina Jordan sing before. Ten people. One or two will be awestruck, like we have been. The other eight are going to walk away. Yeah, nice voice, great song. Bye. <laughs> do I win a Do I win a free candy bar or something for coming in and listening? Uh, you know, they, they're some people are not going to be moved. This with the same with any singer, the same with anything really. Uh, you go to a great restaurant, you have a nice meal, you tell friends about it, and they go there and say, "Yeah, you know, it was all right." <laughs> <laughs> the fact is, you may have had the best meal of your life, but you know when they go there, they're not eating the same food you were eating. It's not the same day. It might not even be the same cook that day. It could be a different one, right? So you know the experience. Sometimes experiences don't transfer over to people the way the way that we think they probably should. But that's all right. It's all right. Let them listen. Let them down the road say, you know, I heard her before. Yeah, she's pretty good. You know, and they'll listen again. And then, you know, who knows? So I think I've talked plenty long enough. I did want to just wrap it up by saying that that yeah the video uh, "Love Don't Let Me Go" is a great song, great and she you know you can see she puts her heart and soul in it. Everything she does actually, uh, including the "Diamonds Are Forever." So uh, and the classic look, the elegance, the glamour, the you know the uh, j just the the beauty of it all. I the ret the retro feel I love it. Okay, that's because I'm old. <laughs> Actually, the retro thing comes back every now and then. So you guys have a nice day. Have a good night, good day, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll see you in the next video. Now, some of the rest of the video, I, I, I filmed the entire first uh, concert. I didn't film any of the second concert. I, I'm going to probably have to react to some other people's uh, videos uh, to do like My Funny Valentine, which was different in the uh, second concert that was not in the first concert. 
and uh, uh, a few other things that happened in the second concert that I didn't catch on film. But the uh, I did the whole first one. Some of the videos I did were singles. I just tried to. I was trying to break it up because I, I didn't want to run out of space on my camera and have you know have the camera stop recording halfway through a song and I don't know about it right until I get to the end and say where hey, where's the rest of it. So I uh, wanted to be careful with that. So I did two here. Now saying that after the intermission where uh, it wasn't really an intermission, but uh, Angelina went back and did a wardrobe change, came back out in a white dress. And when she did that, it was songs uh, 12 through 19, I think it was, uh, where she had the white dress on. And uh, I filmed that whole thing solid all the way through. Uh, and I kept checking it to see if it was still working, and it was. So it did catch the whole back end. It was 43 minutes long, I think. So I don't know, maybe the camera goes for an hour. I don't know. I don't know what it does. It doesn't have any information on it, so... <laughs> I wouldn't read it anyway. Anyway, so that's it, guys. Have a great day. Have a good day. Good morning, good night, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.